Hey everyone, uh, Will here. Uh, my first uh, picking video of uh, 2012. Uh, it's uh, Sunday, June, January 29th. And uh, I uh, haven't found too much, but uh, I've been concentrating on uh, clearing a lot of stuff out. Uh, you know, it, it's been piling up around here. Um, a lot of stuff that uh, has moved on Craigslist. Uh, got a local auction house, and I've been taking them, uh, taking a load a week too, and uh, it's been selling for me. And surprisingly, uh, it's been bringing uh, a little bit better than I thought it would. Uh, but my goal is to uh, get everything cleared out uh, for the uh, for springtime and uh, uh, be ready for. Uh, yard sales flea markets when they uh, start pulling, coming in full force. But I got a few things here to show you and I uh, uh, hope it's just uh, a sign of things to come. Uh, first up, I picked up a uh, thing. There we go. I uh, found it. A, I was going through a box and uh, this was upside down like that. And I looked in there and the shake is unmistakable. Mis unmistakable. Uh, I thought this was a uh, German helmet for a split second, but uh, unfortunately, it's not. It's a uh, it's a Spanish helmet. It's uh, not nearly as good as a uh, German, but uh, um, I paid twenty dollars for this. Not a bad price. It's worth about thirty, forty dollars. Um, I'm gonna take us down to the auction, put it in there, and uh, see how it does. Um, I think uh, I think it might do well there. Picked up this uh, Gurkha. I can never say the name right. Kirk, Kirkery, Kirk, I don't know. Uh, it's a Gurkha knife. Um, somebody mounted it onto this board. Fairly rusted. Um, got the sheath and uh, two little knives that go in it and a big knife. Uh, don't think it's super old. If you can see there it says tempered steel made in India I think if it was really old they wouldn't be marking them like that still a neat piece paid 20 bucks for it probably worth uh, at least double that maybe 50 picked up a nice old camera at the uh, at the uh, Goodwill Aries uh, 35-3 things built like a tank uh, very heavy nice quality uh, had my smartphone with me and I looked it up on eBay in the Goodwill because they had uh, they had twenty five dollars on this and uh, I really didn't want to pay that much for it but I saw that they were bringing anywhere from uh, 30 on up to uh, like a hundred and thirty so took a chance bought this one uh, put it on eBay already uh, for one time at 40 bucks it didn't sell but I'm gonna relist it uh, pretty sure I can get 40 for it uh, one of the reasons I think it didn't sell was it went off during the uh, championship uh, game football championship game never want to end your auctions uh, during a big uh, football game or baseball game, whatever. Picked up a nice little badge. Uh, had to pay uh, $15 for this. But it's neat. Uh, I have a bit of a bag co badge collection. Uh, this one came from Kingsville, which is near here. Uh, so this is a keeper for me. I'll just uh, put it in with the others. Uh, value on this, if I were to sell it, uh, not a whole lot maybe 30 bucks uh, 
pair of Pan Am wings I picked up for a dollar. Uh, Pan Am went out of business back in 91, so, I mean, these are plastic. It's not, uh, I'm sure there's a bunch out there. Um, but, for a buck, it's worth a shot. Picked up a nice uh, Bulova ladies watch. And this was two dollars. It's marked on the back. I don't know if I can zoom in on this or not. It says uh, 10 karat rolled gold. Full of a plate. I don't know if it's plated in gold. Roll gold. I've seen gold filled plenty of times, but uh, never seen roll gold. But uh, two bucks, it was worth it for the watch alone. Um, nice old lady's watch. The strap looks original. So. One of my better deals here was a uh, this set of uh, Pyrex mixing bowls. Paid five dollars for the uh, four of them. They're in real good shape. Uh, these uh, the coloring on these normally scratches up uh, very easily. Uh, these actually should bring around sixty seventy five dollars for this set. Uh, it's one thing to be on the lookout for if you're uh, out doing uh, yard sales, flea markets, and come across individual bowls. It's worth picking them up and holding on to them until you get a set if you can get them cheap enough uh, so if my wife doesn't keep these I should get at least 60 bucks for them a uh, couple boxes of ammo uh, eight a piece I gave 15 for the two of them uh, ammunition always a good thing um, once again these are for myself you can never have enough ammo and a, a nice watt bowl. I'm guessing that is a tomato or an apple. I don't know. Nice, uh, got a little bit of uh, crazing in there in the porcelain. Nothing major. Um, ovenware 39, that's how they normally uh, mark the watt stuff. I really like the, the old Watt though. It's uh, something about the simplistic design. Uh, I have to look it up. Not sure what it will bring. Uh, there are collectors out there for this. Uh, so there we go. Not, uh, not a whole lot to uh, show you this week. Hey chickens. You coming up here boys? Glad the chickens could make a uh, appearance for you. Um, so not much, uh, not a whole lot, a couple of uh, interesting pieces, and uh, I'll be on the lookout, and it's a beautiful day out here today, I suppose to get around 60 degrees, so hopefully springtime's right around the corner. <laughs>